der Industriepodcast des VDMA. Europe comes together in Brussels, but how does that work? Brussels is the political center of Europe. This is where the member states come together, where policy is made and is accompanied by countless interest groups. Brussels is thus a center of power and at the same time a world of its own, which the public often perceives as a faraway organization. At the same time, a common internal market also requires common rules, which in turn shape our everyday lives and our economies. In the new episode of the VDMA Industry Podcast, Malte Lohan, Director General Orgelim, and Holger Kunze, head of the European office of VDMA in Brussels, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of EU regulations, the role of EU policy on key social and economic issues, the role of lobby actors in Brussels, and the positioning of Europe in the global context. European legislation and regulation quite often makes people shake their heads. There is hardly an area of daily life for which there is not an EU regulation. Is that necessary? Europe's character is actually freedom-oriented and tolerant. Is Brussels simply overdoing it with its regulation? Holger Kunze from the VDMA takes a differentiated view. Natürlich ist das das klassische Vorbild, äh, Vor Vorurteil der EU gegenüber, dass hier viel zu viel reguliert wird. And thus regulation ultimately serves the economy and the companies from the mechanical engineering sector too, explains Holger Kunzin. Then there is also the global perspective. The strength and size of the European single market gives Europe a central position on the international stage as an economic power in competition with the US and China. However, times have changed considerably since the current EU Commission took office, explains Orgelin General Director Malte Lohan. It is now about a radical renewal of the EU. Eine neue Kommission mit einem Anspruch, die EU auch radikal zu erneuern. Stichpunkt Klima und Stichpunkt Digitales. Und das hat zu einer Masse und einem Volumen von Gesetzgebung geführt, die wir in der Form eigentlich noch nie in Europa gekannt haben. And with so many things being newly regulated, the Commission is also moving more and more into areas that it previously left to the market or the individual states. This then causes public displeasure. A good and at the same time important example of EU regulation is the field of artificial intelligence or AI. On the one hand, large parts of European society are afraid of AI as an uncontrollable technology that takes control of us and our everyday lives. But on the other hand, AI creates possibilities for people and businesses that represent real progress. According to Holger Kunze of the VDMA, it is important to conduct the discussion with a view to all sides. Man manövriert im Prinzip zwischen zwei Polen. Der, der eine Pol ist die ethische Frage, wie weit kann künstliche Intelligenz gehen, wie, wie weit darf sie gehen? Und auf der anderen Seite das Bestreben, das industriepolitische Bestreben, Europa führend zu machen in diesem Bereich. So, und jetzt muss man zwischen This means that if the EU goes too far with regulation, progress and the sensible use of AI, especially in small and medium-sized enterprises, will be hindered already at the outset. But the current discussion about the design of AI regulation by the EU is also a good example of the activities of industry associations such as the VDMA or Orgalim. Both are actively involved in sensitizing the actors in politics to the necessary differentiation of AI. Talking about the role of associations and NGOs in Brussels. The Belgian metropolis now has more lobbyists to offer than Washington DC. Practically all sectors or interest groups are represented in this city. So there are many voices to be heard in this concert. The VDMA enjoys a high reputation in Brussels. It is esteemed as a knowledgeable discussion partner and representative of an important industry. Das ist eine besondere Stärke des VDMA, das muss man ganz klar sagen. Wir haben ähm, in unserem Verband einfach sehr, sehr viel Hintergrundwissen, können sehr genau beschreiben, 
ähm, wie das wirkt, wie eine bestimmte Regulierung wirken könnte auf unsere Industrie. Und in, diesem, äh, in dieser Phase sind wir auch sehr gefragt als, als Ansprechpartner. Die Kommission, die ja ein relativ... European politicians as well as lobby groups must ultimately ask themselves how the EU wants to appear on the political world stage in the future. This is true also against the background of the corona pandemic, the war in Ukraine and Europe's role in the economic competition between the US and China. Orgalim General Director Malte Lohan calls on the EU to become more realistic. The world rarely plays by European rules. Aus der Sicht muss Europa endlich lernen, weniger naiv zu sein. Und die Krisen, Corona erst, jetzt Krieg in der Ukraine, zeigen das deutlicher denn je. Ähm, die Welt, wie Europa sie sich wünscht, wo alle nach den Regeln spielen, wo alle schön zusammenarbeiten, wo, arbeiten, wo wirtschaftlicher Aufschwung zu Demokratie führt, diese Welt gibt es nicht oder zumindest nicht mehr. Und wir müssen This means that Europe must readjust its compass with a view to positioning and strengthening its own society, industry and economy in order to continue to play a strong role in the international community and to consolidate it. This reorientation will be a major concern for EU policy in the future and for a long time to come. Der Industrie Podcast des VDMA. You can listen to the entire VDMA industry podcast on EU policy on the VDMA website as well as on YouTube and major podcast platforms such as Spotify, Podigy and Apple.